peacock national bird of india common name indian peafowl scientific name pavo cristatus adopted in 1963 as national bird of india found in india nepal bangladesh myanmar sri lanka but has been introduced all over the world habitat grasslands forests near human habitats eating habits omnivorous average weight male 5 kg female 3.5 kg average length male 1.95 to 2.25 meters female up to 0.95 meters average wingspan 1.8 meters average life span 15 to 20 years in wild average speed 13 kilometers per hour in 1963 the peacock was declared as the national bird of india because of its rich religious and legendary involvement in indian traditions It is a symbol of grace, joy, beauty and love. Peacock is a large and majestic bird. Peacock occupies a respectable position in Indian culture. It is fully protected under the Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Being distributed all over in India, the significance of peacock is attached to cultures of India far east ancient persia greek and christian in hinduism the image of the god of thunder rains and war indra was depicted in the form of a peacock in south india the peacock is considered as a vahana or vehicle of lord murugana murugana is the son of lord shiva and goddess parvati The figure of peacock is painted in various Islamic religious buildings. In Christianity, the peacock was also known as the symbol of a resurrection. So these are all the reasons that make peacock as a national bird of India. Behavior The Indian peafowls are best known for the beautifully elegant display of feathers. the evolution of which is believed to be driven by sexual selection the peacocks spread their train in the shape of a fan and quiver them during the courtship display it is believed that the number of eye spots in a male's courtship display determines his success in mating peafowls are omnivorous in their feeding habits and survive on insects seeds fruits and even small mammals they forage on the ground in small groups which has a single male and 3 to 5 females they roost as a group as well as on the upper branches of a tall tree to escape from predators The Indian peafowls do not have any specific breeding season and mating is generally dependent on rain. In South India, they mate during January to March, while in northern parts of the country, they mate during late July to September. The male occupies small territories and females visit these territories assessing the suitability of the males for mating. Eligible males are surrounded by females who take turns to mate following repeated courtship display by the males. The call of the Indian peafowl is a loud trumpet-like scream. It commonly advertises the presence of the male during the breeding season, but also heard in the late afternoon and after dark, possibly as a warning against predators. life cycle the peacocks are polygamous in nature 
The peahen lays around 4 to 6 eggs in the ground, preferably in a shallow hole, and incubate these for 28 to 30 days. The chicks are reared by the mother for about 7 to 9 weeks by feeding food from the mother's beak. The mother peahen then travels around with his chicks in tow and possibly teaches them to forage. The male and female chicks are indistinguishable initially. The male starts to develop the distinctive plumage from 2 years of age and they mature at around 4 years. Here are some interesting facts about the peacocks. Number 1. They are not born with their fancy tail feathers. The male peacocks don't start growing their showy trains until about age 3. In fact, it's very hard to tell the sex of a peacock. Number second, they don't have to be killed for their feathers. Luckily, the peacocks share their train every year after mating season, so the feathers can be gathered and sold without the birds coming to any harm. The average lifespan of a peacock in the wild is about 20 years. Number third, they can fly despite their massive long and long trains. A peacock tail feathers can reach up to 6 feet long and make up about 60% of its body length. Despite these odd proportions, the birds can fly. This was all about the National Bird of India. Thank you so much for watching this documentary video. This video was shooted in the forests of Tamil Nadu, Trichirupalli, India.